subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for the latest film interviews, features and recommendations on the movies that matter. Sonu Nigam, so good to see you. Sonu, how are you holding up? I know that you're in Dubai. You, you've been in Dubai since before the lockdown, of course, because you were meant to be performing there. Um, what have the last uh, few weeks been like? Rajiv, good to see you. Uh, I've always loved you and I always say that, you know, you're one of the few people I can think, I can hear the name and I can smile and I can feel nice. So, Thank you. good to talk to you during these times and good, good that you're spreading positivity. I saw your interview with Farah. Thank I've been you. I've been following you over here, so it's Thank good to be in your show. Yes, I'm in Dubai right now. Um, I came to Dubai because actually I, we have a base over here. My son studies here, uh -huh. and uh, so we were in the process of uh, shifting, moving into a, a house over here, which has been delayed because of lockdown over here. So I'm at my brother's place in Emirates Hill, yeah. which is very pretty much like my own place. So thankfully, thanks to God, we are comfortable, well taken care of, in a good space. And uh, I was in Dubai because we were supposed to fulfill the uh, formalities of the house. I, I didn't have a concert over here. In fact, uh -huh. I had a concert in India on the 6th of March, which got postponed. Uh -huh. And then I understood that now there won't be any more shows. So I came to Dubai and I was supposed to return back to India. But I realized that the uh, lockdown had started in India. And I realized if I come from the airport, I'm going to put my father at risk because I'm going to meet him definitely. Yeah. So I said it's better to stay safe and put, you know, let my family people family members be safe and not uh, expose myself to any such thing. Correct. So no, I'm going to ask you to give us a few lines from one of my favorite of so songs of yours. You know, it's a song that I love and that film didn't do very well. And I feel like that song didn't get its due. I'm talking about Saw Dard from, um, from ah, to have what a special, great song. I think it's a beautiful song. It is. The credit goes to uh, Anu Malikji and uh, Shirish Kundir because I remember yeah. how ferociously even Shirish was involved in the, this process. And what a lovely song. In fact, um, uh, my wife's mother uh, uh, is a big fan of this song. So I'm going to dedicate this song to her. Okay. Her name is Gopa. Okay. She always says, Aap hamara gana nahi gaya. So lije hum aapka gana ga dite hai na. So, so dar dar what a lovely yeah. song that just Thank such you. a lovely song to really bring it alive I love that we've turned a gym into a into a sort of concert hall. You know, uh, I, I, I love in that. fact, you know, I was I was wearing something else for you. I wore this thing so that I don't look too informal. I was wearing I was wearing a ganji earlier. I, uh -huh. I, this is my time to work out, and this is time this time when I you know keep the silence or watch Amitabh Bachchan. I've been doing this private Amitabh Bachchan festival. If you know that, what? I've been watching lots of his movies, which are which we as kids watched but never understood at that time. You see. You know, one has to see those movies in our senses. I never saw yeah. uh, what you call uh, which movie, uh, Kashmir Wade, after the first yeah. time I saw. So I saw it just recently and I understood the movie now. But I yeah. remember I had little glimpses of memories, uh, you know, flashes of what I uh, interpreted of the movie at that point. So this is my time and I'm, I enjoy this time with it. I noticed, I noticed from your Instagram that you're also reading. Uh, Rishi Kapoor's uh, memoir. It's yeah, such a beautiful he's he's a rock star. I love him. I, Although he hasn't said he hasn't said yeah he hasn't said very kind things about me except the fact that he's he loves me as a singer. He thinks I'm a great singer. Why would you think that I have a high pitch voice? Who, do you think I have a high pitch voice? He was no, talking about Rahat and Sumerigam, but my my voice is not high pitch. My voice, my in fact Rahat Patel Khan is a high pitch voice. So how, he couldn't have said that. How can I do romance in the high pitch voice of Sumerigam? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, so I, I mean, he's. He, I mean, I actually have sung for him, so he couldn't have said that for me. But I love his memoir. I'm, I'm still in the. Uh, I reached seventy percent of it, and I relive, you know, that era uh, through his eyes. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. I'm kind of uh, vicariously but, living. <laughs> sure. Have you, you know, um, I'm asking this to actors. I'm asking this to filmmakers. Um, is it an opportunity to, you know, is this an opportunity to be able to sort of sharpen the craft? Are you, be, are you able to use this time also to do your riyas, to keep in touch with the music? Is that possible or, or you know, are the things that are weighing on one's minds just so great that, that it's not a productive time? 
No, I'll tell you something. Uh, I look at life a little different. I mean, yeah. I came to, since, you know, you and me share a, a, a kind of relationship where I can talk something beyond work also. Uh, yeah. The thing is, when I came to Bombay to become a singer, I was a very aggressive, uh, you know, ambitious man. I wanted to yeah. be something. I wanted to make money. I wanted to make a name for myself. Yeah. In between, I lost that Z. In 2003 and 2004, something shifted inside me. And I did not want to grow old ambitious. I did not want to grow old thinking, uh, what new, what is. Yeah. And I gradually toned down myself. I, I in, started enjoying life more because right. be, before that it was only work, 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 responsibilities, waking up in the morning at 7 o'clock, doing two hours of riyas and going for recordings and doing 11 songs, 12 songs a day, coming back, hookah, no workouts, no fitness, nothing, and doing the same thing again and again and again. So it was and then doing Saregama, I used to do that show Saregama at that point, yeah. five days. I used to even dream of the show. Can you imagine when I used to do those shows, I was so young and I was so into that show that when I would sleep, I would be anchoring in my sleep. Wow. So that was, those were very hardworking days, but those were not fulfilling days. Yeah. And me, then I started doing yoga, then I started going out, venturing out, spending time alone with myself. So this stage is nothing new for me, Rajiv. Right. I have been in this, in, in a very, like my, my life has been like a selfie. You know, I've been okay. noticing myself for the last okay. so many years. What are you doing? You should You should not behave like this. You're supposed right. to not feel, because you know, these little things of uh, envy, greed, anger, they are going to be part of our lives, we're human beings. Mm -hmm. But to check, I have been doing it. So this, for other, others, it's a very humbling time. For me, Correct. it's not really that much of a shift. I'm pretty used Correct. to living alone. You can, you can leave me in a very small room without TV, without phone, and I can be fine. Without, give me no wow. books, nothing. I'm, I'm absolutely okay with my own company. So wow. yes. That's one thing which is so as a, this is a normal thing about me. But the other thing is, yes, um, I, I'm learning new things. I've thankfully before uh, the lockdown started over here, I bought an iMac. I, I bought, uh, you know, the software, microphone, etc., speaker, so that I can, uh, you know, have, a, have my own studio. So a lot of people yeah. are sending me lots of songs to so sing. I sang one song for El Subramaniam last night. I sang, we're doing a beautiful song called One Nation one voice which you'll get to know this is the first time oh, wow. i'm announcing on any platform so wow. it's going to be having about 100 singers so we're doing something like that so lots of things are happening we are uh, uh, you know uh, i did another song for all the musicians fraternity uh, so i just sing, uh, sang that song another song coming up for jasim sharma so lots of work happening and i'm pretty much busy you know, uh, pretty preoccupied you know um you've actually really been at the forefront of so many changes within the within the music business, within the film industry, um, you know, even whether it comes to new genres of music, you know, one of the one of the songs that I love, another one of the songs that I love of yours uh, is what you did with the Kavali and Mehuna. Uh, you know, that, again, <laughs> what a beautiful way to kind of bring the Kavali back into the modern uh, movie because the Kavali was, of course, you know, in, in, in made in a certain kind of film. And of course, Anu Malik <laughs> and Farah Khan and Shah Rukh and you all brought that Kavali alive. So, uh, you know, yeah, yeah. am I allowed to ask you to give us a few lines from that? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh, this is a very memorable song for me. And uh, again, Anumalik, uh, Javed Akhtar Ji, he's such good times. Farah Khan ka small bada hai. Ishq jaise hai ik aandhi, ishq hai ik tova, ishq ke aage be bas hai, dunia mein har eza, ishq mein zab diwane hai, ishq mein zab haira, ishq mein zab guj mushkil hai, ishq mein zab aada. that's energy for you. How lovely. I still love the song. It's still, it's still <laughs> feels so new and fresh and wonderful. <laughs> so, so I have to ask you, um, you know, we're yeah. talking to filmmakers, we're talking to actors, and it's it's very clear that the film industry, like all businesses, is going to be hit by this, by by the virus, by what's by what's happening, by the fact that yeah. you know, can't work for a long yeah. time. How how large is the is the setback for the music business, Sonu? 
Uh, of course, the concept scenario uh, will take some time to re-emerge. I'm pretty right. much sure. Uh, because uh, may, maybe the weddings might happen, yeah. but uh, I don't think concert business is coming back that soon. I don't yeah. think so. Uh, because even we won't feel safe. You see, yeah. it is not as you and me, we all know that uh, maybe some people are taking it lightly, but they do not know the consequences of being inflicted with the uh, coronavirus. Because I'm hearing stories and these are horror stories of people who wants to go through that much of pain, who wants yeah. to go through that torture. I'd rather make less money. I'd rather spend less. I'd rather, you know, make make uh, you know, make do with whatever we have than yeah. subjecting myself to this trauma because it's not a sickness. It's not a fever. It's not some. It's it's torture. It's breathlessness. Yeah. And I've heard that people die a very very distressing death. Well, we don't want to do that. Even if we survive, the the symptoms are going to be there inside me. Viruses. I I what I've heard is bacteria die, but viruses don't die. So let's see, uh, it'll take some time. And uh, I feel uh, the biggest grunt is going to be borne by the small musicians and the small town singers. And th they will have to be the grunt. And we as a society, Indian Singers Right Association, we try to do something. A lot of people are doing a lot of things. And hopefully, uh, you know, we all will put our hands together and do something for the people who are hit the most. Right. You know, um, I, I, you said that your son is studying in Dubai. I have to ask. Yeah. Um, I know that, you know, and we've spoken about this in the past when he was younger, when he used to accompany you. Yeah. Even now, he sort of pops up occasionally. Um, uh -huh. is, does he, has he decided what he's going to do? Does he, is he going to follow in his dad's footsteps? What is the, what is the big plan? Um, I have, Rajiv, I have uh, stopped making plans in life. Okay. I have, you know, I've, I come from a school. We cannot and we should not plan our children's future. Because, you know, we are interfering in the, the divine plan. Right. I don't know what he wants to become. Like, my parents never really put me into singing. They never yes. said, he asked them, but it was my desire. The right. singer inside me wanted to practice. I never learned music until I came to Bombay, you see. You, you know, I never learned music. Wow. It was just self listening, listening, listening to other people, listening to Rafi Sahab, Kishor Kumar Ji, Lata Ji, Asha Ji, Bula Mali Ji, Pankaj Das, Anuj Jaluta, uh, Talat Mahmood. Uh, Mannade, uh, Himant Kumar, Mahindra Kapoor, all these guys, several saab. So it was just self uh, study. My son is a very pristine soul. Uh -huh. He's a very uh, peaceful guy in the sense he's not like me. I was ambitious. I wanted to be something. I wanted to be the best in everything. When I would play sports, I wanted to win. When I was mm -hmm. used, I used to play cricket, I used to bat the best. I, I would be very angry with myself if I, if I faltered in that. My okay. son is not like that. And I'm very happy he's not like that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put dreams into his head. I don't want to taint his pure, pristine heart and mind because people just need to know how to be happy. They yeah. do not need to succeed. They should not succeed. They should not make money. They should not be the most popular guy in the world. They should just be happy. And I want my son to just be happy and just be happy. That's it. Oh, wonderful. So do you believe that, um, do you believe that when this, when this experience passes, um, when we go back, when we go out into the world again, and, and it'll probably be a very different world, a new world. Do you think that all of us, because of having gone through this experience, we're going to be different, we're going to be changed? Do you feel like this experience is going to have that impact on our lives? I feel, uh... Uh, this is this time is like a furnace. This period that's that's going is like a furnace. Anything you put into it will come out changed, chemically changed. So it's not like I I don't claim that people would be better people because see, I am I'm of the opinion that people are made, people are born cruel and people are born kind. Nobody I I I believe this. You know there are people who belong to the same family and you have one very kind son and one very evil son from the same family. It's so it's I believe that so people who are evil will continue to become being evil people who are kind will become kinder I think and I feel everybody's important you know it's like our body we eat something we excrete something else you see yeah. so society is like that too everything is important mouth is as important as a rectum so it's, it's in a society you will you have to have good people you have to have evil people to balance it out but yes yeah. I feel that when it, when the first time people will visit beaches again, 
when they'll visit shopping malls, I mean, they'll cry. I know when people will see their friends and when they'll hug, they'll cry. I am telling you, we all will be so overwhelmed to sit in our cars or in our cycles or, or on our motorbikes once again and go for a ride. And I'm talking about this and I have goosebumps already right now thinking about this because when I, we haven't worn formal clothes for such a long time, can you imagine? We yeah. haven't worn our jeans and we haven't worn our you know, shirts and everything. We have just been doing with our shorts and t-shirts and you know, yeah. what, whatever. So when we do that after a long time, it's going to be very, very overwhelming and people will cry. You know, I know that you've not been in Mumbai, but I'm guessing you're you're aware of what's going on in yes. the news. And I'm wondering whether whether you have an opinion, Sonu, because you've you've never you've never shied away from speaking openly. You know, the 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 Masakali controversy. There's, I mean, um, there's so much talk of it, it. Sort of triggered this whole conversation again about do we really need for our um, for our great songs to be remixed? Uh, do you have an opinion on this? Do you have a view? Because A.R. Rahman himself came out and, and said that he was not pleased with the new remix that has come out. Um, and it seems now like like so much of popular Bollywood cinema is just, um, you know, remixed songs. Yeah, but the blame doesn't go on the music composers. The blame goes on somebody else. And you and me know who that somebody else is. But at the same time, I don't blame them, you see. They're doing business and they feel uh, they have to take care of their self-interest. People, obviously, uh, like my song, this song was uh, remixed uh, about three years back, you know, to hit me back because I was fighting for the uh, constitutional amendment of the Copyright Act uh, yeah. for performers. So it was done deliberately to you know, bring my prestige down. Mm. But that song, disappeared in, in, in thin air. Right. It vanished into the oblivion. Nobody, yeah. in fact, people criticize that song. So when the intent is to make a good song, it, it's fine. When, when, when the intent is to desecrate someone, mm. to bring the prestige down of anybody, you know, who the hell is A.R. Rahman? We are there now. We'll make the song. Who's A.R. Rahman? A.R. Rahman is a very big name yeah. and a very realized soul. Correct. You, you do not become, you do not become Famous, you don't, you not become so loved without being a very blessed and evolved soul. Right. He's not a fluke. Yeah, he's yes. not a fluke. He changed the business, and you know he has always maintained his dignity, his decorum. I will work with him for so long, but the thing is, I can't. It's, it doesn't. I mean, I haven't worked with him, but that doesn't make me speak ill about him. Right. Who, Correct. One who is worthy is worthy. So yeah. one must think twice before hitting. Uh, you know, Masakali is A. Rahman's, one of his most beautiful and loved songs of all times. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. if you want to churana bhi hai, to wo churao, jo sabse precious hai, you see, if you want right. to steal something, steal the utensils, steal, don't steal somebody's child. Correct. You know, that's the baby. Correct. Don't rob somebody's house, rob, you know, rob the locker or something, rob whatever. Don't rob, take away somebody's child. This is child. This is a child of your Rahman. Don't do that. Such a wonderful way to put it. That's such a wonderful way to put it. <laughs> so, no, before we go, I feel like um, I feel like you have to give us that one song that I, I think I think you just know no concert, no conversation with Sonu Nigam is complete without asking you to sing it. So I'm not even going to name it. I'm going to allow you to kind of you know you you read my mind. Oh, and... there, there are two songs. I'll give you both. One is Abhi Mujhe Bhi Kahi, one is Kalu Now. So I'll. अब है सामने इसे छोडू जरा मर जाऊं या जीरो जरा हर घड़ी बदल रही है रूप जिंदगी चाहो है कभी कभी है रूप जिंदगी हर पल यहाँ जी भर जियो जो है समा करो रहो आओ लवली सोनू थैंक यू सो मच प्रोफेटिक थैंक यू प्रोफेटिक लाइंस नो दैट सॉन्ग हैज सच एब्सोल्युटली रेलेवेंस टुडे एक्चुअली इट हैज सो मच रेलेवेंस टुडे बट थैंक यू सोनू ऑलवेज अ प्लेजर चैटिंग विद यू स्टे सेफ थैंक यू आई होप आई कैन रिटर्न सून 
um you know yes, we'll, yes hopefully the next time we catch up we'll hopefully be in person face to face absolutely but but you know best wishes to the family stay healthy thank you. and look forward to seeing you, you soon and to listening to your lovely voice do more more music <laughs> thank you so much thank you very much thank you so lots much. of love to you